you say whatever you want about me personally that's fine creatively that's fine but if you are making a com- commentary on a woman's role suddenly changing just because she's going to be a mother that's not right and it's not fair this was fake news that was catering to a certain wrong narrative of like suddenly life is changing pro- dreams shattered husband going to pick the lady up hey right? why are you doing this i've been working non stop it is like a facet of life that i can't wait to ex- experience and i will do so with utmost dedication and trying to as every parent tries to be the best parent in the world i will try with all my might and i have that in 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 my relationship with renveer in fact we were talking about it the other day it's just like like it's we are totally okay by ourselves we're just better together because i have not always imagined getting married i'm not one of those girls either who's like imagine my wedding day since a little girl it just like i said naturally everything naturally yeah. happened so it just naturally felt like the right thing to do that okay we're going to get married let's do it this way like let's not make a big deal let's just do it at home for the first time which doesn't happen very often i just saw i saw his eyes uh, a little welled up when i was like when i when i made my big <laughs> entry as you say this is one of the best films that you are going to watch this month um what fantastic performances and i remember the last time i met alia bhat was for gangubai and a lot has changed since then we are going to talk about all of it in conversation with me today is alia only on bollywood bubble hello hello i love you so much <laughs> i love you so much as a person and i love um i loved you so much as badru i feel like you were you were standing up for so many voiceless men and women out there who go through abuse on a daily basis i know of people in my own family uh, who can't stand up to abuse you know and my mother watched it so we both watched it together and she was constantly telling me i love that video you said yeah that, so. yeah i did another thing that i took away from the movie is that it is not a marriage of equals yeah. in, the, in the movie um most most um marriages in india are not marriage of equals because there's always a one up upmanship because of somebody working somebody being Correct. a housewife and that that has been a problem Correct. um yours is not um i just spoke to him um for shamshera and uh, he i spoke to you also you both have always been supportive of each other's craft each other's choices um this is the best this is a stereotype and this is the stereotype of a utopian marriage right so wh- are you happy that you finally found somebody like that who who lets you be a, as well i think i would i would have imagined it maybe no other way yeah. um but it's still really refreshing when in general whether the person is your partner or your sister or your family member that when people just let you be and have your own moment in the sun and the rain and the shine you know it's just a certain like and 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 i have that in 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 my relationship with renbeer in fact we were talking about it the other day it's just like like it's we are totally okay by ourselves we're just better together yeah. you know so it's just like it's not like we feel like even if we're sitting next to each other that we can't be silent or that we need something from each other in that moment that we're sitting together we don't we have a we have our own matlab apni patri kuch khud khud chal rahi hai but it's just nicer when we're together um and that's just beautiful because it's easy and it's light and i don't like to talk too much about it because i'm like you know i don't want to like you know speak too much about it but i think what i naturally feel is a lot of calm and a lot of peace and it's just like it's that that kind of pa- calm and peace that can just put me to sleep like i can just fall asleep you know very very casually and very fast in his presence and that's of course a great calming effect while uh, of course it's it was the wedding of the year last time when i asked you you were like mm, uh, you were almost on the verge of saying it and you didn't say it uh, i remember during gangubai promotions uh, that you're getting married soon but you did and it was a beautiful wedding what i loved about the wedding was the simplicity did you always want something like this or did it happen like over time like you felt because ranbir is quite private that way but i never knew that you are also that private no i am i'm super private i don't even have that many friends to be very honest like i'm i have a group of girls that i've known yeah. all my life and they are my like everything and that's it and just my family i don't i'm not a very like outgoing person to be very honest and yeah it's not about always wanting it that way because i've not always imagined getting married i'm not one of those girls either who's like imagined my wedding day since a little girl it just like i said naturally 
everything naturally yeah. happened. So it just naturally felt like the right thing to do that, okay, we're going to get married. Let's do it this way. Like, let's not make a big deal. Let's just do it at home. Let's be like call people and have a guest list, which is just very only family and just your close friends who are like family and keep it really intimate because we can't deal with, we can't deal with formalities. Yeah. We can't deal with small talk. We're just not those people. We want it to be very cool, private and casual. Like if I'm not entertaining somebody, I don't want to be thinking about it. Like that's the kind of wedding it was where everybody was just doing their own thing. And it was just simple. Yeah. And I didn't need to move any more than 10 feet. <laughs> and he cried at the wedding. He didn't cry. <laughs> he had tears. This is what he said. He, uh, yeah, I mean, he said that. Karan also when, said it, I think. Because when I said it, to, yeah, basically, yeah, I think I saw for the first time, which doesn't happen very often, I just saw, I saw his eyes uh, a little welled up when I was like, when I, when I made my big <laughs> entry, as you say. So I was like, wow, that's quite cool. And I'm like, oh, guy. <laughs> but you guys did say that we are not uh, by boyfriend, by girlfriend. And yeah. That was a cool thing. We had lunch together. And then I went and I got ready. And he I said, OK, bye bye. See you last time, boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> Which is very cool. You know, I um, again, people will say, but you guys are my favorite couple. Mm -hmm. I, I think like many others, millions other, even before it could happen, I think we've manifested it. I, I genuinely feel that you've also done it. And I think everybody who loves both of you have done it. What I love about both of you is that there's a sense of balance, you know. But do you sometimes feel that media and other people don't understand it? Because um, when a person gets married, they're like, oh, now she will not work so much. When a person gets becomes a mother, like is, is pregnant, they completely try to write women off, especially. What, ma what matters here is your husband is a very supportive husband, you know. But do you feel that this happens with most women, unfortunately? It has happened to you also. I don't need the media to understand it. I mean, I don't need anybody to understand it. Although I feel like it's just certain people who are maybe trying to sell like a certain clickbait narrative, which is just not, um, which is not cool. So I would like just maybe correct that ideology. But in my heart, I know that even the people who um, who are maybe our fans or supporters or general or just uh, people in general who we have very like graciously decided we just decided to make this big announcement of our wedding and then the fact that we're having a baby there was so much love Absolutely. so much love and and so much positivity and I actually see that I feel that so when people try and sell us to a different narrative like that I only get irritated not because it's relation in relation to me because you're trying to tell a totally different story about women in general Absolutely. which I won't stand for anymore maybe earlier I would but maybe I've reached that point in my life where I'm like listen if you're if there's one tone that you're picking up that I don't like which is not relate it's not only in relation to me it's in relation to women in general then I will question it. You say whatever you want about me personally, that's fine. Creatively, that's fine. But if you're making a com commentary on a woman's role suddenly changing just because she's going to be a mother, that's not right and it's not fair. Absolutely. And it's actually even the thing that I questioned, it was not a negative article. It was a positive article. But in your positivity, you were, you were, you were spewing lies. It was not, a, it was not real news. It was fake news. So there's been a lot of fake news on me in the past in general what random things but I don't correct it because I'm like I mean what to correct fake news this was fake news that was catering to a certain wrong narrative of like suddenly life is changing pro dreams shattered husband going to pick the lady up I why are you doing this I've been working non-stop yeah non-stop yeah. And I don't want you to give this narrative to other younger girls who think that, oh, do I also need to stop working if that's something? That's what I don't want. I, it has nothing to do with defending myself. I don't care to defend myself. No, it's true. It, it was not about defending you. That's why I said it was Yeah, and, and you know me. Music. I'm not a person yeah. who even thinks about, like, there's so much rubbish written. I'd never go out there and defend it. But this, I was defending a narrative. True. Which is also the, which is also kind of like the take that we're trying to do on a film like Absolutely Darling, you know, right. which is like we're we're talking about a certain narrative, and I'm actually playing a character that I don't agree with, like I don't agree with the things that she's doing or the way she is. But it's important to play that and discover that and show that there's this evolution as well in a person. Yeah. 
you know it's again about choices if women don't want to work when they are pregnant if they don't feel uh, healthy enough to do it it's their choice if they want Absolutely. to work it's their choice now people cannot be questioning choices you uh, you know but they say that when you get married life doesn't change as much as people think it does because you're already living with that person but life does change when you're having a baby do of you, course are, are you already in that space where you feel of course it totally changes your thinking changes i mean right now though it's just it's just the tip of the iceberg it's not even i i know it's going to change but it's only going to change for the better yeah, yeah absolutely see i've always believed that your personal life and professional life are two completely different facets of your life so nobody knows how i've managed my personal life whilst also being a committed actor yeah. similarly nobody will know how i manage my pro, uh, uh, acting life whilst also being a committed individual at home you know with my, with my family with my friends with my partner with my loved one it's a totally new role to take on but i'm like it's it just again like i said it's happening so naturally and it feels so natural and and good and it feels so like exciting nerve wracking you know like all of those things put together but it is the newest it, it is like a facet of life that i can't wait to ex experience and i will do so with utmost dedication and trying to as every parent tries to be the best parent in the world i will try with all my might and i will also try and be that actor that i have always been to satisfy my absolute desires and my wants because that's an important part of who i am as well so that doesn't change but balance वो तो मतलब मुझे ही मैनेज करना पड़ेगा ना पर मैं मैनेज कर लूंगी उसमें क्या है उसमें क्या ही है एंड आई जेन्यूनली फील दैट बोथ ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू बी अमेजिंग पेरेंट्स आई स्पोक टू रणबीर आल्सो एंड आई टोल्ड हिम दैट यू नो इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ हिज लाइफ ऑलवेज हैड अ ब्लो हॉट ब्लो कोल्ड रिलेशनशिप विद हिज डैड एंड ही सेड दैट आई डोंट वांट दैट विद माय किड बिकॉज़ वी इवॉल्वड एंड एवरीथिंग यू हैड अ वंडरफुल रिलेशनशिप विद योर मदर सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स फ्रॉम योर मदर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू लाइक इज इट गोइंग टू बी एग्जैक्टली व्हाट how you've been brought up are you going to change something i don't think i can plan any of it and actually i don't want to plan only i like i said i'm very curious so i've read all the books i'm reading all the information and this and that but i know at the end of the day when the moment comes you can't plan this relationship you can't plan the dynamic you have to have certain values and morals in your in set in stone that this is what you want this is what you live by this is what you will try and you know give out and I guess move and maneuver along that, and every day is a new day. Every day is a new experience. Alia, you've been the face of a change, and you will continue to be the face of a change, and I know it. And um, people can. I'm genuinely biased towards you, but also for right reasons. You know, I feel that you stand up for the right things, and uh, I know that uh, when I'm 80, hopefully we are going to sit here and we are going to do an interview <laughs> again. Um, but at the same time, when you've taken up a producer's role before, I go. I have to tell you this: that because we speak so um, ferociously about women and women rights. would you make it a point to make sure that women in your films are always portrayed in the correct way and they are treated the correct way because there are so many women in the industry who feel that they are not paid well and they are not even treated similarly as a man no see treatment i am somebody who believes in equality exactly so i believe that everybody should be treated with equal care comfort everything and the price that you get paid is the price that I mean, whatever that I'm not going to get into that. I don't understand numbers anyway. But of course, there's not, there's no uh, short changing, or there's no like, there's no nine safi that will happen. I mean, obviously not. Yeah. That that goes without saying. We're living in like, I mean, it's 2022 for heaven's sake. No, but in general, I don't want to tell stories. Again, I'm not like I say women-centric stories. Bolungi, it's yeah. not about that. You sell stories. Yeah, I just want to tell stories, but. strength of characters and layers of characters even in a film like darlings they it's very layered yeah, yeah. these characters are not straight forward they are very very you sometimes feel are they doing the right thing are they doing the wrong exactly. thing exactly so i am not trying to sell this narrative that you know i am a strong woman i have strong ideologies and i have i have like certain ideologies but it's not like i believe every person is the same you know like and even i am have my own faults or whatever so i want to tell real stories and stories that connect with people that's it like there it shouldn't be women centric male centric animal centric whatever do tell a story and just tell it well that's all that matters thank you so much alia um i i i only i i i will get emotional the day i get to know um that you you know you've delivered and all i know because i everybody says that you're karan johar's baby but i remember that you were the only actor at a point of time who was younger than me and i was like okay <laughs> i finally found somebody and i will genuinely hold you very very um, dear to me and close to my heart mm, 
anything that happens to you is always personal but it's a good thing or a bad thing and i know that you stand for the right reason and you will always rule uh, the industry as a queen even 50 years later oh, thank you so much thank you <laughs>